So, Donald J. Trump is officially president of the United States. What's going on guys, Phil here, and today you're going to be watching some Modern Warfare Remastered gameplay that I had saved for a discussion video. And I figured there's no better discussion right now than to discuss who just won presidency, and it was Donald J. Trump. Now, this isn't a video of me ranting about how, about my political opinions on the two of them. It's just me kind of processing exactly what happened, and I really think it is interesting because it all started off as kind of a joke. Donald J. Trump's running for president, he was a famous business guy, there were all these jokes about you're fired and loser and all the shows he was on. Then the Republicans believed that he would do terribly and he would be losing. Um, in the beginning they had Ben Carson in the lead as the Republican nominee. And then he started to really take a massive lead. And he was winning a lot, and eventually he became the Republican nominee, took on Clinton, and once again, people thought that he was going to lose. Clinton had the polls, the polls showed that she was going to win Michigan, and Florida, uh, it's going to be close in Pennsylvania, and now he's president, but um, I have to say I was surprised this morning when I found out that he was. I personally don't like Hillary Clinton, but I wasn't a big fan of Donald Trump either. Um, I didn't vote for Jill Stein or Gary Johnson. I just didn't like the two of them. I thought that Trump's behavior was inappropriate. Um, it seemed odd the way he behaved because he wanted to run for president, but the things he said in his past kept getting brought up, the real kind of person he was. Um, some of his ideas I didn't really agree with. Lowering the taxes, building a wall, they all just, a lot of the things that he said and acted were odd. And I guess watching a lot of the news outlets like Stephen, Leonardo, Stephen Colbert, or no, I don't know, I don't know the beginning part, but Stephen Colbert and other news outlets, um, he had a lot of things, a lot, he had a lot of cons, we'll say that. He had a lot of things that sounded like they could be good ideas and then come out bad. And just as a person, he just seemed rude and he just said contrary things and he just a lot of people hated him but a lot of people hated Clinton it was so split and now I have to be honest I'm curious I'm curious as hell as to how this is gonna go down is this really gonna be hell on earth um, he's gonna ruin everything it's gonna be a disaster we have a racist as president all these things people are saying is it really gonna come down to that or is he actually gonna do good things because at the end of the day, he won the electoral vote. People voted for him. The popular vote was in his favor. Clinton conceded. That's the election. So there are people out there who generally have faith in Trump. Do they like Trump? Or were they just voting against Clinton? Who knows? But there are people out there who um, genuinely agree with him and want him as president. And I guess there's really nothing that can happen. All we have to do now is just wait and see. Um, Twitter has been crazy. You guys should really check out Twitter. Hashtags like not my president are coming up. Celebrities like Chris Evans are saying we cannot let this happen. Um, but who knows? Maybe he'll be an amazing president. Maybe he really will be a good president. Clinton has already agreed to work with him for the better of the country. And I think if you're watching this video and you were like me and you didn't like Trump at all, you really didn't like him, he confused you, he made you angry, um, just think about it for a second. Think about how democracy works, how the Constitution works. Um, and he won. It's funny because he said the polls were rigged. I'm guessing the polls aren't rigged anymore now that he's won. But um, just think about everything that's happened and how we don't really have much of a choice now. He's our president. You know, we can joke all we want that we're going to move out of the country. Everything's going to go to disaster. But all there really is to do is wait and see. How is this going to go down? Is he going to be a good president? Is he going to be bad? Technically, he has four years because he could potentially only have one term. And I don't see what he could do in four years that could really be that drastic, that it would make people upset or really burn the world or whatever. Maybe he will increase relations with Russia. Maybe he will help defeat ISIS. Maybe he will fix the tax problems, lower the debt. Maybe he will do all of that. Wouldn't that be a future that we all want? So, if you're against Trump... Well, I guess it's okay to be against Trump. Everyone has their political opinions, but he's our president now. The best we can do is just listen and give him a chance. 
Um, I hate to say it because, you know, I didn't want him to win, but that's how it is. So, yeah, guys, that's just my thoughts on it. Um, I really do hope you enjoyed the gameplay in the background. Um, I had a lot of fun at the sniper. But, yeah, leave a like and comment. What do you think of Trump winning? Did you want Trump to win? Do you think he'll be good? Are you still worried that the world's going to burn and stuff? And subscribe if you haven't already. But, yeah, until the next video, guys, um, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you then. Goodbye. Dynamic weather. The dynamic weather and the maps that support it are so great. It, the changes that are made are so drastic. And, you know, at first I was very surprised. Um, the map you're seeing right now, the way I spawned was in the desert, and, and there was a sandstorm in the middle of it, and you couldn't really see anything. I tried to fly a plane, I couldn't really see. Um, it really lowers the vehicle, so when the sandstorm kicks in, the tanks, the planes, they don't